Hi friends, welcome to Taming Python series. In this video, we're going to talk about how to serve static files in Flask server. In this video, I'm going to talk about two, three methods of how to serve static files in Flask. Okay, what are static files? Static files are something like images, PDF, documents, etc. All right, first let's talk about the easiest way to host static files in Flask. You just create a folder called static and whatever is present in that folder will be available as static content for the users to download. So let's get started with coding and see the example of it. I'm going to take a blank folder. I'm going to open it with VS code. I'll just create a new file for the server. I'll name it server.py. So now I'll just create a basic Flask server. So if you don't know about what is a Flask server or how to serve templates in Flask server, I've already made videos on that and I will leave the link of those videos in the description. So please go through those videos if you don't know about Flask server basics. All right, let's import the Flask class from the Flask module. So I'll just write from Flask import Flask. All right, let's create an instance of the Flask server. So I'll let app equal to Flask of name and let this app listen at some host and port. So I'll just write app dot run and here I'm going to write the host name as 0.0.0, .0 and the port as 500 and debug equal to true so that I can see the errors easily. Let's create a route where I can serve a HTML file. So I'm going to first define a definition. So I'll write definition home and this should return something, right? So I'll return hello world. All right, let's try to convert this definition into a root. So I'm going to annotate it with app dot route and the route would be just as normal slash. So it will be the home page. All right, our server setup is done. So let's try to run this server. And in my browser, I'm going to type localhost 1500. And here you can see the hello world is printed out. So our server setup is running. So instead of serving just text like hello world, let's try to serve a HTML page. For that, we need to create the templates folder. So I'll just write templates. And in this templates, I'll just create a new template file called home.html.j2. So this is just a Jinja HTML file. So let's write some valid HTML in this. All right, I got my HTML file ready. So let's try to serve this HTML file from the server. So for that, I'm going to write the render template. So I'm going to take the render template from Flask and use it here. So I'll write return render template of home.html.j2. All right, let me save the server again so the changes can be reloaded. And let's try to reload this. And here you can see the HTML file being rendered now. Okay, we have our basic server setup where we can render a HTML file. Now let's try to serve the static files. To serve the static files, I have to create a folder called static. So I'll create a new folder and name it static. So this is the reserved keyword in Flask and all the things in this static folder can be served as static content. So let me try to create a text file here, a new file abcd.txt. So this is a text file and I'm writing some garbage into this and saving it. Now I have a static folder with a text file called abcd.txt. So let's go ahead and try to see whether it can be served in the browser. So to see the static content, you have to write the host address slash static slash abcd.txt and here you can see the text is being served by the flask all right let's try to serve a pdf now i have a pdf in my static folder called google.pdf and now this can be served because it's in the static folder let's go to the browser and write the web application address slash static slash google.pdf because the pdf file name was google.pdf and here you can see the PDF is being downloaded in my browser. So this way, whatever is present in the static folder can be accessed in the browser using this slash static slash file name. If the file is present in nested folders also, it can be accessed. So if I just create a new folder in the static folder and write it PDFs and move this google.pdf into this PDFs folder, now the google.pdf is present in the PDF folder under the static folder. So if I write slash static slash PDFs, slash google.pdf it is served so this way even nested files in the static folder can be served so this is really an easy way to serve static files in flask but one thing to remember is that there is no authentication and authorization required to serve the static files by default so please do not keep any sensitive information or the information which you don't want to share with the public in the static folder because once the information is in the static folder it can be accessed very easily without any security so only stored public data or some javascript libraries etc in the static folder all right we got to know what is the url of the google.pdf static file in our web server right 
right so let's try to keep the link of this pdf file in our templates so i'll just copy this now and in my home.html.j2 after the hello world i'll just create a link so that i can download the file from this web page so i'll just write anchor tag and i'm going to write a text called download file and in the href attribute i'm going to give the url of the file so i don't need to write this whole host because it's already present in the same host so i'll just write href is static pdf google.pdf so let's save it now and save my server so that the changes are reflected i'm going to go to the web server again localhost 5000 and here i've got a link called download file if i open this link in new tab you can see my file is being downloaded so this way by serving the static files in a static folder you can use them in your html templates also by giving the links here you can see i have given an absolute url to serve the pdf file but this is not the recommended way to serve the static files in jinja templates it is always recommended to use the function url underscore fur and the first argument would be static and the second input will be file name equal to the path of the static file so the path of the static file is pdfs slash google.pdf and this will be rendered by Jinja right so I have to surround it with curly brackets so now this is the same as slash static slash pdf slash google.pdf so using this url for and writing this reserved word static and writing the file name equal to the path inside the static folder you can serve the static files url dynamically using Jinja templating so let me save this and save the server file so the changes are reflected and once again I will reload the web page and here if I just open this download file in the new tab you can see the static slash pdf slash google.pdf is so even if I don't write the whole absolute URL in the template. So this is how you can generate URLs for static files without writing absolute URLs. This URL for function can be used to dynamically generate the URLs of static files. All right, this is about serving static files in Flask using the default way under the static folder. It's really easy. You don't have to do anything. Just keep the files inside the static folder. But what if your static folder is not the name static and you have some other name, something like reports? So you want to serve your static files from the folder called reports, not static. So how are we going to do this? It's really simple. While initializing the application instance, give another input called static folder and give the path of the folder. The path of the folder is slash reports or you can just write reports. So while initializing the Flask instance, by giving this input static folder equal to reports, I'm telling the Flask server to serve the static files from the reports folder instead of the static folder. Now let's save my server and reload my application. Now let's try to open this download file link in the new tab. And here you can see the URL is slash reports slash PDFs google.pdf. And notice that I haven't done any changes to my URL for function. And this is the advantage of using the dynamic URL generation using the URL for function. The static remains the same, but Flask will search for the appropriate static folder based upon the settings while we have created the Flask server. All right, now in the current setup, the static files are coming after the URL reports. But what if I want the static files to be coming after the URL slash static only, but the files to be served from the reports folder? How can you do that? You can give another input to this flask initialization function and the input name is static URL path. And in the static URL path, just give slash static. So using this input, what I'm telling is that the static files should be served after the URL slash static, but the data should come from the folder called reports. So let me try to save my server so that the changes are reflected and let me try to reload my home page again and let me try to open this download file. Here you can see the URL is slash static slash pdf slash google.pdf but the static files are generated from the folder called reports. So we have achieved this configuration by telling that the static folder is actually the reports folder but the static URL path is static. So using these two inputs, static folder and static URL path, you can control the folder from which the static files are served or the URL from which the static files are served. By using these two inputs, static folder and static URL path, you can customize the folder from which the static data is served or the URL path from which the static data is served. Suppose I want to serve additional static files in addition to the static folder. Suppose I have a new folder called reports and I have some files in it and I have these three PDF files in this report folder. I don't want to sacrifice my static folder, but I want to additionally serve this reports folder files in my Flash server. So how can I do that? Since there is no default way of doing this, we can create a new route to serve these static report files. So let's try to do that now. I'll just copy this route and change some parameters here. We can't have the same function name, so let's try to rename this function name as send report and let the route be reports slash, and I'm gonna give the path parameter here. So I'll write path, report path what i'm telling is this route will be served at this path called reports slash and this is a variable which can be extracted in our function 
and the variable name is report path so i'll give this report path in the function input and i'm also mentioning that the type of the variable is a path variable that means it can't be an int float or string or something like that it should be a url path so i don't need to return a render template i have to return a static file right so for this purpose i'm going to use the send from directory function from flask so instead of returning the render template i'm going to write send from directory and the directory we are using here is the reports directory so the folder name is reports and the path is the report path which we are getting from the url so let's try to understand this function now if i want to serve abcd.pdf in my flask application i can go to the root web application url slash reports slash abcd.pdf so abcd.pdf will be given as a function input to this send report function and you can serve that file using the send from directory function and the, since the report folder is reports and the report path is abcd.pdf so this way by creating a new flask route i am serving additional static files using the send from directory flask function so let me try to save the server so that i can get the changes reflected in my application and let me try to reload the application and here let's write reports slash abcd.pdf and you can see my abcd.pdf file is being downloaded in the browser let's try to get the file report2.pdf so the url i have to write is the slash reports slash report2.pdf and you can see report2.pdf is also being rendered in the browser since we are giving a path you can also have nested folders just like the static folder so let me try to create a new folder df and move this report1 to df and if you want to serve report1 i can write slash reports slash df slash report one dot pdf and here you can see report one dot pdf is also being rendered so this way using very less lines of code you can serve additional static files in flash server one more additional benefit of serving static files using flask routes is that you can add many things like authorization checks in between that means you can serve static files only to the users which are logged in or only to the users with a particular role etc all right let's move to the next scenario where you want to serve a file instead of a web page as response to the url so that can be done using the send file function taken from the flask module so here in this example i am sending a web page using a template called home.html.j2 but now i want to send a file instead of a web page so that can be done using the send file function so i'll just copy this here and using the send file i can send a static file as a response to the url so let me try to send the google.pdf in my static folder so here in the path I'm going to write dot slash static slash PDFs slash Google dot PDF. So let me try to save it now. So the changes are reflected in my application. And if I reload my application at localhost 5000, I did not get served a web page, but I got served a PDF file. So I'm serving static files instead of web pages in response to the URLs. So that's it guys. That's about hosting static files using a flask web server. Let's try to revisit the scenarios we have covered in this session. The first scenario is just hosting the static files the default way in the static folder and the second scenario was changing the default static folder path and the static folder url the next scenario was hosting static files from an additional directory with the help of send from directory function imported from the flask module the next scenario was serving static file instead of a web page using the send file function you can see i've created a blog post on serving static files from a flask web server i've also given you the sample codes in this blog post so you can copy paste and practice it in your own computer so be sure to check out the link of this blog post in the description of this video please provide your valuable feedback or ask questions in the comments section hope you like this video guys thank you for watching